What's up? It's Danny Myers, the bar guy. We're going to jump right into these Smack Volume 2 predictions. One thing I don't like about predictions is that's oh, that's exactly what they are. You know, they're just predictions. They're not, I, we can't see the future. You know what I'm saying? For real. If we knew exactly what was going to happen in the battle, why even watch the battle? You know, these guys might not do any of the things that we think they're going to do. But for the most part, we be kind of on point. So we're going to jump right into it. Cortez versus O-Red. Cortez always seemed like he the underdog. It always seemed like people be betting against him. And I think that's what drives him to be dope every time. I think that's what drives Cortez. I, you know, as a battler, I know when people tell me, oh, you're going to lose, you're going to get smoked. Oh, you can't fuck with him, blah, blah, blah. That's the fuel. That's the fuel. We we battlers, the, the smart ones at least, Use that negative um, talk, the, 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 the criticism, the hate, and we turn that into motivation to prove them wrong. And it's, and it's kind of messed up that a guy like Cortez still has to prove himself this many years later after proving and proving and proving, but yet he's still being doubted. You know, O-Red, on the other hand, this man is the champion. According to Jay Black, the panel, I thought he was Ballard of the Year myself. Here's the thing about O-Red and the choking, right? This guy took on top quality names, choked in about four out of the five battles, or stumbled, choked, stumbled, whatever, and still won. You understand what I'm saying? You know how, how, how good you have to be to be able to stand in front of guys like K-Shine and Big K and, and Show Off and, and uh, all the guys that he faced, choke, and still beat those guys. That just lets you know what type of power level this dude was on. Like this dude is able to not even say everything he was that he wrote and still win with, with only seeing three quarters of his bars. That's a testament of how powerful this man was last year. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you gotta take the good with the bad. Yeah, he choked, but he still won. He's the champion. You can't refute, you can't refute the facts. You know what I'm saying? can't refute what is set in stone you know what i mean uh bar for bar already got this battle locked up you know cortez would be making a mistake to try to punch with O-Red. cortez is not a dummy you know what i'm saying he ain't who he is for no reason cortez knows how to strategically angle around all of that firepower he not finna just stand there and go blow for blow and punch for punch and just keep fighting this man in the middle of the ring. He gonna dance around that ring. He's gonna get his jabs in. He's gonna get his body shots in. Cortez is smart. It, it's hard to bet against the champion, but for this one, man, I mean, because of the because of the hate, because of the because of the doubt. I feel like Cortez definitely got more to prove. O-Red wants to prove why he's the champion. He want to show y'all, hey, I'm the champ for a reason. I got the belt for a reason. I got that money from Jay Black for a reason. They didn't give it to me for no reason. And I'm going to show y'all. This is this is O-Red's thinking. Cortez is like, okay, y'all doubt me from, from me back way back when URL first started. Y'all was hating and doubting, and I'm still here. Errors later. Errors, not battles later. N listen, Cortez is not here battles later. He's here whole errors later. Still here. Y'all y'all doubting that? Cortez 2-1, man. Big K versus T-Top, man. This is Big K's return. It's been highly anticipated. People been wanting to see Big K come back to URL for a long time. Finally here. He does not want to come and disappoint. He does not want to drop the ball. Um, Big K is not just a puncher anymore because he's added angles, jokes, you know, to his to his repertoire. The best Big K that I seen other than his ill max showing was Big K versus Head Ice. And in that battle, you seen Big K angle, joke, punch. He did everything. He was phenomenal that battle. But I haven't seen that Big K since that battle. You know what I'm saying? He, he took a, a recent loss to O-Red. Um, I felt like he edged JC. 
You know what I mean? Uh, Big K, uh, I feel like he lost the pass. Uh, Big K kind of be, be inconsistent lately. Meanwhile, T-Top, and although T-Top is taking a loss here and there, since you've seen him in the PGs and how he did City Towers, since that, you've seen this man only elevate, become from uh, come from the UW tryouts to to the proof to the spit that heat to the to the proving grounds to the top tier to facing guys like Surf and Shug and Goods. T Top has proven that he is a top tier. He is becoming a master of the angle. Although you could criticize him for taking used and played out angles that people have already used against his, his opponents, he's able to take them same angles and do something with them that the previous guys didn't do and, and make them and still make them hit. That's a skill within itself. It's a skill within itself to take something that is used and still somehow make it seem fresh and new. Oh, man. Like he said in the trailer, he's like, yo, now you want to come play with the niggas, huh? Okay. Uh, will Big K be able to punch and joke his way out of this one in a small room? I mean, I want to see the half past seven, Big K. I want to see the Big K versus Ilmac. But we can't always expect these guys to be versions of the of their former self. Like you, it's always got to be a progression, an elevation. You got to go forward. We can't always get the old them. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go with T Top on this one, two one. I got T Top winning, man. Uh, I feel like he's gonna create an angle, and he can punch. Like don't like. Come on, man. We come on, man. Go back and watch uh, T Top versus. John John, T Top versus City Towers. You seen how T Top did snow in that small room, and not to say that Big K is is snow level. Big K is way past snow level, but we seen how T Top can get busy and and take his presence, that voice, that gravelly voice he has. How he can just take over. Oh man. It, it man, I got I got T top two one man. It could get spooky in there real fast for Big K if Big K is not in his head ice or something similar to that form. Mike P versus YK. All right, grudge match. It's been building for about a year. They back and forth, back and forth. Mike P, oh, I never gonna battle him. To now, I only want to battle him. Like it. Whew. Listen, YK. This is a battle you got to win. You got to win this battle. You talk a lot of shit. You you be dogging. Listen, YK one of the guys who's been I hate that that word underrated, man. Cause it's it's, it's kind of like he ain't underrated because niggas know what he do. We know we how he get busy. But like I guess to the general the general masses, he's whatever mid tier, lower, top tier. Skill wise, YK is one of the toughest that you can stand in front of. Whether you feel his bars are outdated or his style might be outdated, it's working for him. That style working for him for years. He and he's he's sweeping he's sweeping niggas up. You know what I'm saying? Um, but coming off a loss, a alleged loss to K Shine in your hometown, you cannot come off of a loss versus K Shine. In Chicago, and then come and lose to Mike P too. After all the shit talk, you can't lose this battle. Uh, YK is dope with the punches. He's all he also can angle. If y'all don't know about YK's ability to angle, go watch YK versus Street Profit right now. This man YK beat the soul out of Street Profit, not only with punches, but it was really the angles. That he took. And he, man, watch YK versus Street Profit. That, I mean, wow. He can angle. Mike P, another guy who I feel was very, getting very strong with the angles. And Mike P can rap. Mike P really can rap. I think his lyricism is underrated. Mike P is, is fire. You know what I mean? This is a battle that they both got to win. Mike P coming off a loss to Suge. At the first volume one, at, at volume one, 
he took a loss to Suge. I think that loss, I think that experience is definitely going to carry over and help him in this particular environment because he knows what to expect now. He know what he got to do. He know the mistakes he made versus Suge in that small room. I don't think he's going to make the same mistake in the small room again versus YK, who, who is a phenomenal player. He's a phenomenal puncher. He can perform. He, his presence can take over a room. YK in a small room is dangerous. It could get spooky real fast for anybody if you come in there playing with Young Kenny. Mike P. You know, he he you know he beat he beat Big T. Um, good battle with Team. Good battle with Daylight. Uh, man. Mike Peter probably don't get enough credit, man. He probably don't get enough credit and might be a little slept on in this battle, man. Both of y'all got to win this one, man. I'm sorry. Whoever, because because you know what I'm saying? Like, for YK, people be like, damn, YK should have been on Smack. Why he don't get no plates? Why he don't get no plates? And then for, for YK to finally get this big look like this and lose and drop the ball, it'll, it'll kind of vindicate and justify the haters. It'll justify what the haters been saying. They'll be like, see, look what happened when this dude finally gets a, 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 a shot on Smack. He, he, he lose to Mike P. Like, he don't deserve no more smack. Put this nigga back in the, you know, in the mid-tier rankings or whatnot. So, YK, you got that on your back, plus coming off that loss to, to shine. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you can't lose this one. Mike P, you can't lose this one either. You can't lose to Suge on Volume 1 and then come to Volume 2 and lose again. Like... It's make or break time for a lot of niggas out here, man. It's it, it's show and prove time. Niggas ain't gonna be getting too many more chances, man. Damn, Mike P, like hey. It come it come down to who wanted more. Well, young Kenny been having something to prove for a long time. Mike P wants retribution. Mike P wants validation. This is it. Beating YK in that small room will validate his skills as a battle rapper. I mean, his skills, his true rapping skills. Mm, I'm going to go with Mike P, man. Damn. It's hard. You know, as, as much as I know what Young Cannon, something scares me about Mike P losing to Suge on that first one. Mike P to one. Yikes. Uh, Rum Nitty and John John. All right, it's another one of those battles where you got punches versus somebody who can kind of do a lot of different things. Rum Nitty, in my opinion, is the best puncher in battle rap at this moment. You know what I mean? I think, I think Rum Nitty is the best puncher. You do not want to stand in front of this this man when you when you say MOP. Annie up and then you follow that with I grab the nose running I'm coming down with something it's and then the amazing things he said versus Iron Solomon I mean amazing he's only getting better that's the scary part like Rum Nitty is getting better John John another one of them dudes similar to Cortez the hate the fuel the criticism, the disbelief, the oh, you can't punch with Nitty. You can't fuck with no Rum Nitty. You're not as good as Rum Nitty. We already know John John cannot punch with Rum Nitty. John John know that. Do you think John John is going to come in here and play Nitty's game? You think he's going to come here and fight Nitty's fight? You know what I'm saying? See, when you, when you step into... Your opponent's realm, you're giving him control. This is your opponent. This here, this here, this is his realm. He control all this. You out here, you're able to do what you want to do when you when you over here. But when you get in his circle, now he got the upper hand. It's just like Freddy Krueger. When when you when you dreaming, he got control of that dream world. Freddy control all that. He control, he can make shit appear, disappear. You can't hurt him. 
But when you take Freddy out of the dream world and put him in the real life, white girls be socking this nigga. White girls be socking Freddy. Beating this nigga up. Because he's out of his element. John John is not finna come into the dream world with Rum Nitty. John John is not finna come into the dream world and try to punch with Rum Nitty. He not finna do that. John John is a fucking strategist. He's too smart to play that game. John John can, can joke. He can scheme. He can punch. He can angle. And this is this is like a guy who kind of can do a everything versus a master at one particular craft. Niggas count John John out, man. Without being LSC bias, left side connection, shout out to y'all. Without being West Coast bias, I it's hard for me to see Nitty losing this battle create creatively. Because bar for bar, you know how much shit Nitty can do with John, Don, stealing, flipping, say it twice. Uh you can you can just as a writer myself, I know what nitty can do with these name flips and these gun bars in reference to john i give john 316s like i don't know <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's just off the top of the head i'll give john 316s like i whatever it's just so much shit nitty can do i feel like john john is gonna do just enough to where it's uh it's a 10 eight round or ten nine round. I feel like Nitty gonna have a ten ten and 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 John John gonna have a nine. And 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 that's a win within itself because theoretically John John is supposed to get smoked. I could be wrong. John John could win this battle. But I don't see nobody I mean the shit Nitty coming up with battle after battle, round after round, line after line, the shit he is saying is just it's like an avalanche man. It's like it it starts and then it just gets worse and worse and worse as the rounds go on. Like you feel like, damn nigga, you would I thought you would have ran out of punches by now. He not running out of punches. He they're they're only getting better, and that's the scary part. I don't see nobody beating Rum Nitty right this year. I don't see nobody beating Rum Nitty. I don't know. You would have to take. I don't know. You would. The, the funny the funny thing is it would take a nigga like John John to beat Nitty. That's the funny part. It would take an all-around skilled person to beat Rum Nitty right now. And that's why John John has a chance. I, st I still don't see it happening. Um, we're going to go into A-Verb versus motherfucking twerk. God, what a fuck. This is, this is crazy. And low-key Verb is a strategic marketing genius. Verb talking so much shit. Like, this is the battle that niggas is talking about the most, more so than the main event, just to keep it real. You got Showtime versus Strapped In. Both of these guys have a special power. Verb is right. The, the Strapped In, the Strapped In is, it's a offspring of Showtime. Verb is right. How are you going to beat something that you came from? You got your special move from me. Twerk, this dude is amazing with that pin. His voice projection, his, his, his he takes over that stage, he's bouncing. He just looks like a battler. He looks like a beast. You know what I'm saying? Verb ain't no little dude. Verb is a, Verb is a big dude, too. If y'all ever ran into him in person, Verb is a big dude, too. You got two big-ass dudes barking, and, and you can imagine a showtime and a strapped in in a small room, it's going to come down. I think it's going to come down to who had the better special move, honestly. Um, but at the same time, Verb has years and years of experience of writing. Problem with this is they both choke prone. They both choke prone. They both stumble prone. It... Imagine verb stumbling and twerk stumbling. Verb choking and 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 twerk cho choking. Imagine they both choke and fuck the battle up. That could happen. Not saying it will. That I don't want it to happen. 
We in restore order right now. We got to get back to where niggas is coming professional to these events. You got to, you, if you're a rapper, you got to come to these events professionally. Get the fans what they want. Don't, don't know I want to see no choking and stumbling. I go for everybody on the card. Um, let me tell let me, just real quick. The choke and stumble in a small room is 10 times worse than in the big room. I'm going to tell you why. First of all, y'all the only niggas in there talking. The rapper, when it's your turn, you're the only one talking. In a big room, it'd be side conversations in the crowd. He talking, people on stage, your honor rises, talking amongst each other. In this quiet, quiet room, you're the only one that's talking. So when you stop talking, there is no sound in the room. It's so obvious that you are fucking up. It's obvious that you're choking. This is how it sounds in a small room. The gun, big gun, strapped on the top of his head like a... quiet ain't you you hear that sound that's how awkward it sounds for someone to choke in that small room whoever choke this ain't this ain't even just about verb and twerk whoever on his car choke it's gonna be so obvious and it's gonna be over for you real fast it's gonna be over you choke you stumble it's over that round is over even if you had better shit it's gonna look bad do not choke do not stumble restore order man Verb pin, go back to Verb's third round versus Briz Rothstein. If y'all don't understand how potent this man pin game is. The, but Twerk, on the other hand, also comes with outside of the box concepts. The lyricism in this battle should be A1. Lyrically, this should be the best battle on the card. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cortez and O-Red, Nitty and John John. You know what I'm saying? Those, that, we have high expectations Lyrically, but lyrically, twerk and verb should be the best battle. Line for line, concept for concept. I got I got verb, man, to one. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something too. Verb passed me down the crown. He passed I remember that. Me versus verb. He passed me down the crown because he seen that lyrically, bar for bar, line for line, I was the next successor to that throne. I saw Twerk versus JC, and then I passed my bar god chain off of my neck and gave it to Twerk because I seen him as the successor to that lyricism. So there, there's lineage in this battle. Verb gave me the crown, and then I passed it down to Twerk, and now they're battling each other. There is a legacy of lyricism right here in this battle. The king that passed it down to the next king, and then I passed it down to the next king. You got some shit to prove, Twerk, but you Ver Ver when he when he wanna get rid of a man, he's gonna get rid of a man. I feel like Twerk gonna do some amazing shit like he does every battle. I, I just the, the experience factor. Hey, for for y'all young dudes, this is y'all chance to prove that y'all are better than the older guys. Holmesy. Holmesy the guy, shout out to Holmesy. He, he you know, he, he really be talking that shit and he's putting that fire back in this shit talking shit. The art of shit talking is back. Thanks, you know, thanks in doing part to Holmesy. But y'all young niggas, y'all think y'all the shit. Y'all think y'all can beat us vets. This is one of y'all chances to prove it. You know what I'm saying? Like, twerk, you come here and beat verb and show us that y'all new niggas are here now. Prove me wrong. But right now, I can't go against a veteran lyricist. I cannot go against... I can't bet against that, man. Verb done got beat up. He done got beat up. He done took some beatings. You know what I'm saying? He took some beatings. But he's also had some magnificent and historic... A lot of his lines are historic. A lot of his lines are historic. This man has single bars that will forever live in battle rap lore. This nigga, if they had a battle rap museum of some of the greatest lines, Verb probably got six or seven of them. You got to beat that, Twerk. You have to beat that. Verb 2-1 in a potential classic if they don't fuck up. They don't choke, they don't stumble, 
We got a fucking classic. They do that Showtime in that in that uh, strapped in, and they and they or dump and they hit in that small room. Classic, classic. I'm very, 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 very interested to see this battle. Hollow the Don versus Arsenal. You have the man who is considered the goat. I'm the real goat, by the way. But Hollow, you know, you know what I'm saying. We're gonna talk about that later too, Hollow. You got a man who is considered the goat. Versus another man who was Mount Rushmore worthy or goat worthy. You got two, you know, we already know the history. Arsenal beat Hollow, cross from the pool table, Hulkamania legs rock. That bar must be addressed by one or both of y'all in this rematch. The Hulkamania line has to come back. Now, if Arsenal remixes it or does it again, or if Hollow rebuttals the Hulkam, oh, shit, it gets spooky. Shit could get spooky on one of y'all niggas. We know the history. Hollow wasn't actually prepared. If, if if my memory served me correctly, Hollow was supposed to battle somebody else. It didn't go down. Some shady shit happened behind the scenes. Hollow winds up battling Arsenal. Um, Hollow freestyles. And I think Arsenal kind of just had some written bars. I don't know. You know, I ain't even going to delve into that. Minnesota Luke probably know the whole story behind it because he know he's like the battle rap story. He knows everything. But uh, <laughs> shout out to Minnesota Luke, too. Um, the history. Ars won the first time. Hollow wants revenge. Hollow want to prove. OK, now you beat me. You beat me on some on spur of the moment type of shit. Let me show you what the fuck happens when I got time to sit right think prepare strategize specifically for one man this is hollow's thinking i want revenge i want to show you that that shit was some bullshit i'm gonna show you arsenal on the other hand i beat you once i'm gonna beat you again who want this battle more i think hollow do man i think hollow i think hollow want this battle more you know what i'm saying however Remember when I was talking about that 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 dream world? Arsenal in a small room, very disrespectful, very, very, right there in your fucking face, barking, spit coming out his mouth. Arsenal can get very disrespectful. He got that small room. He can control that small room. Not to say Hollow can't, but this kind of. This particular environment, this setting, I believe, plays more into the favor of Arsenal. Now, when you're in a small room, the bars are going to stand out more. Hollow has the advantage in that department. Hollow is very creative, more creative than Arsenal when it comes to the writing. Neither one of these guys are considered uh, super lyricists, super geniuses, you know what I mean, but... I got, I got, this is the hardest battle to call. This is the hardest battle to call, but I'm going to say, damn, man, this is why nobody really can call this battle, because honestly, it could go either way, but I don't want to say 2-1 either way. That's whack. One of these dudes is going to win this battle. Arsenal get in this man's face, scream on him, bark on him, hope the mania leg drop him. Arsenal, you got to cut the ring off too. You know, it's already a small room, but cut the ring off. Don't allow Hollow any space to be comfortable. Because if Hollow gets space to, 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 to perform and do what he do, it could get spooky for you. You know what I'm saying? So, Arsenal, you are expected to be the aggressor. You are expected to be the one that's pushing the issue. You you supposed to chase Hollow down into a corner and, and back him into that corner and knock him out. That's what that's what that's your game plan. If you're trying to rap with Hollow, you're gonna lose. If you're trying to punch line and be pretty with the metaphors and all that shit, you're gonna lose. You know what I'm saying? Y'all both gotta play to you all strength in this battle. Hollow can rebuttal. Can be witty, can be funny, can punchline, can do some creative shit. Creativity versus aggression. Ooh, which one? Which one? Who can? Uh, 
Hello. Damn, man. I, I do want to say Arsenal gonna win again. I I, I want to feel like I want to feel like Arsenal is gonna make Hollow uncomfortable, but maybe Hollow is expecting that, and he's gonna be comfortable because he want he, he he's expecting that. He he's gonna be comfortable with the aggression because he know that's what's coming. So he's already prepared for that. Hollow two one man. Sorry for this half hour blog but you know people ask me to really delve into why instead of me just saying uh so and so two one so and so three oh people want me to you know get the in debt from a you know the inside of a battler's um perspective so that's why it's, i had to make it this long but volume two uh shout out to smack for the smack madness thing you know what i mean that's dope now you're gonna have to do that shit every year Every March you gotta drop Smack Madness now, Smack. You can't just do it this year and then next March you, you don't do it no more. You gotta do the Smack Madness. You probably should do it twice a year for real. Niggas want these battles, man. But uh It's the bar god Danny Myers. Let me get back to writing these bars because I got a few battles that I'm writing for right now and I got a lot of work to do, so